She's been paralyzed for 19 years, and now a robotic exoskeleton is helping one Detroit woman take her first steps toward a new type of independence. Determination through challenges has been that woman's mission ever since waking up and then not being able to feel her legs. Good evening, everybody. I'm Karen Drew. And I'm Damon Fernandez. Now technology and training is making it possible for Latasha Washington to discover a new way of walking with the help of that new device, something she told me she never thought she'd have the privilege of getting access to. It's been quite the journey for Latasha Washington. Yes, it has. She's on a mission. It's been great. The Detroit woman's on a mission to discover a new type of independence, one that's included hard work and physical therapy at DMC Rehabilitation Institute of Michigan. How often do you have to come over to this way? Um, I come twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. You see, Washington's been paralyzed for nearly two decades. Her life changed after waking up unable to feel her legs back in 2005. The first thing I thought about was that maybe I just got too relaxed. I didn't really think that being paralyzed. Now that journey is shifting toward greater mobility and independence. <laughs> Washington's been part of a pilot program for months, training to take steps on her own using a robotic exoskeleton by rewalk. The battery powered exoskeleton is a brace. Washington's able to control it with a watch on her wrist. Her companion Zach and physical therapist Kyle are close by monitoring each step she takes. Now she can get up in this device walk for about a half hour, 45 minutes, and get all the benefits that you and me get every single day when we're walking around. This brace is a new beginning, one Washington never thought she'd have because the devices are costly. You know, we think about opportunities and being able to get up and, you know, walk, and then you see something like this, it's almost like, I never get to afford that. But this rewalk now belongs to Washington. How you feeling? I feel good. Insurance is helping to pay for the brace. Taking it home means she can stand, move about her house, or walk the park. I'm excited when I get the first time to be able to, like, walk up my street. Washington says her journey with her new brace is about opening up new possibilities. Exactly, a new independence that I'm looking forward to. One step at a time. And Washington graduates from her rewalk training program next Tuesday. She'll be able to take the device home and incorporate it into her daily life.